you've learned all about place value, it's time to review a math strategy that will help you become a faster and more accurate mathematician. The strategy is quite simple. All you have to do is add or subtract from the tens column. You never touch the ones column because the number 10 has zero ones or no ones to add. Let's try a problem. When solving 24 plus 10, you could add 10 by individually counting with your fingers or add 10 by individually counting on a hundreds chart. Or you could use the fabulous 10 more strategy and just add one 10. I don't think too many adults carry base 10 blocks or hundreds charts in their pockets. Eventually you will use mental math to solve. I will demonstrate using a place value wheel, which will show you what I picture in my head when I solve. Let's try another problem using the 10 more strategy. When I think of 10s, gum packs come to mind. There are 10 pieces of gum in each pack. If I had 32 pieces of gum and added 10 more pieces, I could use the 10 more strategy to solve. I could use a hundreds chart. Or a place value wheel. 42 pieces of gum. That was easy. The 10 more strategy works for any number divisible by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and so on. The number 20 is equal to two tens. So when you add 32 pieces plus 20 pieces, you add two to the tens column. 3 tens plus 2 tens equals 5 tens. 52 pieces of gum. Let's try solving this number sentence. 35 pieces plus 40. Since 40 has 4 tens, we will add 4 tens to the tens column. 3 tens plus 4 tens equals 7 tens. 75 pieces of gum. Ten less works in the same way, but instead of adding to the tens column, you subtract. Let's try 24 minus 10. When using the hundreds chart, I now go the opposite way on the chart because I am taking away. My answer will have a lower value. Here's what I picture in my head when solving. 24 minus 10 equals 14. Here's another, 75 minus 50. Seventy-five minus fifty equals twenty-five. Now you try. Solve this problem. Sixty-six plus ten. Press pause now to give yourself time to think. Sixty-six plus ten equals seventy-six. Here's one last problem for you to try. Forty-five minus twenty. 45 minus 20 equals 25. Adding and subtracting tens will come in handy in the future. Soon you will be ready to add hundreds and thousands, and ten thousands and hundred thousands and millions, then ten millions. You get the idea. It's so much fun.